Hey man, it's your boy Lil Donna, man. I wanna give a special salute to the Daily Pursuit. What up, Smiley? You know what's going on. Lil Don! Uh social media for social media. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, everything I am Lil Donna. Facebook, Lil Donna. Snapchat, Lil Donna 34. Everything I am Lil Donna mostly. My situation with free bands, I was signed to free bands like a year and a half ago. Uh, I had a record called Juice that went crazy, you know, and Future called me and I ended up signing a deal with Epic and Free Band. And, you know, I went on tour, opened up for him, Ty Dollar Sign, which was like, it was a great experience just to be a part of that and just to move around and just see the whole world, you know. And just being around somebody who is so talented and, you know, great at what they do. You know, it's always certain situations aren't for you to be in forever. It's like a relationship. You feel what I'm saying? Like every relationship you get in, you don't be with people forever. Some people are just to make you better for your next move. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like that what the situation was for me. Like, I learned a lot from Future. I got to travel the world. I built my name. I built my brand. So it's like now that I'm starting over again and I'm I'm at my prime. I'm at my best I can be, you know. So that situation was a great situation, you know. Artists get mad, you know, and get frustrated from certain situations because it's just frustrating when you working so hard, you know, you losing, sometimes you winning, sometimes you scratched out, you got family issues, you know, like you take losses, you know, so situations get frustrating. So, but other than that, it was a great situation. I appreciate, you know, everybody over there, Epic, everybody over there, Free Bands for just just believing in me for that moment, you know, just just seeing that light in me because for somebody to just recognize who you are, who is not like way far from where you come from, like I'm in the trenches, you feel me? Like I'm in the trenches where people getting killed and, you know, drugs getting sold. So it's like for somebody to reach down into that and be like, hey, we like what you're doing. We want to bring you over here and try to help you. Now, if the situation don't work out, it don't work out, but any situation that's moving you forward is a good situation. I started writing poetry, you know, and when I was writing poetry, poetry turned into me listening to pop and I started rapping. You feel me? And some hood dudes seen me rapping and they were like, man, we want to, we want to sign you. You feel me? So I'm like, I don't know now, I'm hood. I'm trying, I'm come from nothing. I'm like, I'm finna sign. So I signed to the hood dudes. They start pushing me, you know. I caught a little following, start catching the buzz. And then after they, the all studio had got busted. Everybody went to jail. You feel what I'm saying? I had to start all over, and I just built myself from that. No, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Like no, nah, I'm not signed. I'm not signed to nobody. I'm I'm currently independent, you know, and I'm grateful to be independent because I have signed major deals and had major situations. So I'm glad to finally have a fresh start and own all my product, own all my rights to my music again. One of my biggest inspirations is Eminem. Like, I love Eminem music because I feel like he's more personal with his music. Do Better is a song that came from, you know, a friend of mine, a homegirl of mine who was being beaten on and abused and dogged out by this lame. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he was so lame to me. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm like, why you letting him do you like that? Like, you could do better than that. You feel me? So, I really just, like, made the song for one of my homegirls. And when I made the song for my homegirl, I sent it to her on some, like, listen to this. This just for you, you feel me? Like this is to try to get you through your situation. So it ended up helping her get through her situation. You feel me? And a, my right hand man, Big Walt, he heard it and he was like, "Bro, put it out. Just see what it do." I released it. It went crazy. Like it, it went crazy all over the internet. Like 
Then NBA Youngboy ended up getting into a situation with his girlfriend. Well, they released footage of them fighting in the hallway. And somebody put my song behind the video and sent it to me. And like me being me, like I don't care. I'm going to post it because I'm. this is what I'm preaching to women. Like get away from situations like this. I don't care if it was any, it could have been anybody on the video. I would have still posted it. You feel what I'm saying? It could have been my cousin, my brother. It could have been anybody. I would have posted the video. You feel me? Like, and that that made it go viral. So, like, I got a whole domestic violence movement going, like, trying to stop domestic violence. Because it's like, I got like 500 to 1,000 DMs, like, that I've been getting over the process of when I released the song. And there's so many women, like, some girls just sent me a picture of her head busting, like, uh, like a split in her head. A dude did. It. Yesterday, a girl sent me a picture of her house. Her, her boyfriend shot it up. Like, so many girls with black eyes and busted lips and bruises all over their body, like from men who beating them that they're dealing with now. You feel what I'm saying? So this problem is all over the world. So it's like, if I can help these women get away from it, then why wouldn't I have a voice? You feel me? Like, why not use my platform to help people other than just lead kids to smoking weed and shooting pistols and, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I rap about that from time to time because it's a trend, you know? And, but at the end of the day, sometimes you gotta step away from what's trending and talk about what's right. I made that project, the title came from just like, when I was living my life, I was living, like, to be good. You feel what I'm saying? Like, oh, I got to be nice. I got to be cool with everybody. I got to be friends. I got to do everybody. Even if they do me wrong, I got to do them right. I got, you feel what I'm saying? And I was looking around, and I was like, dang, everybody who living the opposite of what I'm doing, they, they live good. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how is they living good and they be evil? You feel what I'm saying? So it's like live evil because the evil sometimes be rewarded or something. You feel what I'm saying? It seems like the evil being rewarded. Not saying that I wanted to be evil for a reward, but it was just like everybody is living evil. It's not too much that I would say change, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a business, and biz that's how business works. You know, like, it'd be like, oh, you want to change this, but if it wasn't like that, then... Nobody would be who they are. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I say what I would change with me is I make more music of just political correct music, like giving people knowledge, giving people game, because a lot of music don't do that. A lot of music is just like smoke, smoke, drink, drink, smash, smash. You feel what I'm saying? Like, And it's like it's more to life than that. Because after all that over, you got to get back to reality. So, that's what I'm uh, bettering, bettering my family life. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I just want to, I want to make sure everybody around me is, like, living correctly. Not And what I, what I mean by living correctly is not, like, money or cars or nothing like that. Like it ain't it ain't about that. Like I want my family to have good credit scores and houses and property. You know, like that's my daily pursuit to get everybody around me on the same page of that. Like me and all my homeboys, we got good credit scores and you know, like we own cars and, you know, multiple cars. Like we we invest our money and building companies and brands. So I want to get all my family like that and, like, get my children set like that, too. So if I do leave this world or when they get older, that they'll be set in stone of what they have. I had to help somebody challenge to where I uh, was feeding the homeless. I, you know, I do. I still do it from time to time, but off camera because it's like the negative feedback that you get from it from putting it on camera and I, I never put it on camera to for people to see it you know I put it on camera to set a trend to make other people who follow me go do it and that's what I did so I got like I was the first person 
like that I knew of in the city as far as like a rapper that was just out there. Like I I spent like ten grand. Like I was giving the homeless haircuts. I was taking families off the street for Thanksgiving. Like and I set a trend to well it it came so big of a trend that now they want to charge us to feed the home. You feel me? Like the government want a piece of your money for you to go out there and give food and to give back. Man. <laughs> Man, I, I would tell my younger self, I wouldn't, to be honest, I wouldn't even change nothing I did. I, I, I'ma just be real, cause if I ain't do the stuff that I did or make the decisions that I made, I probably wouldn't be who I am. So it wouldn't be like, I'd do it all over again the same way. $10 left to spend, where would I spend it on? dollars left to spend what would I spend it on I, to be honest like if like I say if, if like somebody around me needed something like I like you feel me or somebody who like didn't have it or I could split it or you feel me like even if I had 10 people around me and we all get a dog like that's that's what I like that's what I would split it on like making sure everything was good with the people around me if it was just Ten dollars was a value. You feel what I'm saying? Cause right now, ten dollars ain't net. <laughs> My kids, like I could be out of town. I could be, I could be going to the studio. I could go down the street, and it's like, boy, I gotta go. I won't be back with them. I won't be back around them. Like I need, I Facetime them just to give me a smile real quick. Cause life be so serious when you out here trying to take care of people. My number, my first wish would be for, like that everybody around me had to be completely honest. Like even if it hurt my feelings, like everybody around me just like, buy your brush stank, you feel me? Like, buy you ugly, like just real. Like I don't like you for real, bro. I'm just around you for your money. Uh, a female, I don't like you. You just cute and you popular. You feel what I'm saying? Like I just w w want honesty. You feel what I'm saying? My second thing would be my children could live as long as they, you feel what I'm saying, could. You feel what I'm saying, like, far as they wanted to go. And today's just like, I'm tired. You feel me, bro? You feel me? And third is just my family just was great. I don't like being around a lot of people. And when you see me perform or you see me out, you could never tell that I don't like being around a lot of people. Like I'm just not like I'm I'm a home person. Like I like being at home. Like I don't like to party. I'm not a clubber. I'm not a, a extra turned up person. But it's like it's a character that's in me, you know. So it's like it comes out when I get out. But I be ready to go home. Stay down, man. Stay down. Stay down for the long haul. This ain't no temporary situation. We, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger, you know. Like we had a little roller coaster with the Juice record, but guess what? I came back with another one, and I'm gonna come back with another one. Then you gonna hit the other one. <laughs> it ain't gonna never stop. Stay down. Shout out to Queen, man. You feel what I'm saying? She booking me, man. So if you wanna book me, call Queen. You did what I said. Shout out to my children, man, because. I wouldn't have the energy to keep doing this if it wasn't for y'all. I would have been went crazy and went back to flipping birds or something. You feel me? Shout out to Leeway. My, that's my artist. here on the way. Man, shout out to Gresham Road, Big Walk, uh, BPE, Free Bands, Epic. Shout out to everybody, man, who out here grinding. All y'all artists who trying to come up. Just stay down, man. Stay down. You might be right there. And if you quit, you ain't gonna get them. So stay down. Oh yeah, shout out to Cassidy Records. Shout out to P Brown. Shout out to Nitty Beats. Shout out to all those folks, those folks who I worked with in my previous times and those situations didn't carry for. You feel what I'm saying? And I appreciate all those people because they built me into who I am. You know, I ain't do this on my own. You know, it took a lot of relationships and a lot of hard work. So I just got to thank everybody who 
was a part of the process. Like it ain't it ain't just about like if if we had fell out or whatever. You know, like just th those people who I had those moments with in life built me into who I am, and that's why I say like even all the women that broke my heart. You feel what I'm saying? I know you see me now. And I know you, I know you see what's going on, baby. Don't be telling, I see you in my deal to my text. You, I'm not calling on that text. You can I am not going backwards, baby. Straightforward, baby.